guys, welcome back to another video of Impossible Mowers. I hope you guys had a nice Easter and a happy Mother's Day out there. Um, I haven't posted in a bit because I've been working on a lot of stuff. I just recently got a 1974 Snapper push mower, which I will show in a different video. Um, it's being sent to a shop to get the pull string um, fixed, but that'll be our restore project and uh, something you guys can see you know, how, how, how we restore that and get it running and all that good stuff. But today, um, we're going to show you guys how to string up this Echo GT200R. Um, as you guys know, in my other videos last year, we did do a carburetor change on this guy. And it's holding up so far so good and it still runs fine. I actually, you can see... Did take it out weed whacking yesterday, but sadly, the uh, strings came off. You don't see, you see if there's no strings there. So we got these new strings here, and we're gonna mount them up today. So let me move this right here. Alrighty. So in order to string up these guys, I find it that it's really easy to string up um, these weed whackers than to string up the uh, steel ones because right here there are these Phillips end screws and all you do is pop this cover off you pull the string in and then it locks in that's pretty much it so at least I help um, I did these last year they weren't so bad so you want to take a once again I'm using a Stanley doesn't matter which one you use but a Phillips screwdriver and you just kind of want to screw it in there. Let me try doing this right now. It takes a bit sometimes. There we go. It's a bit tough. Man, I need a camera guy. <laughs> um, until I get a camera guy. Let me put the camera right here so you guys can see what's going on. There we go. So yeah, like I said, just a regular Phillips screwdriver. Put this guy in there. Don't want to lose the bolts. We will be doing more service videos on this guy later on. Um, if you guys have a name for it, uh, please let me know. Um, I don't know what to call it, but you know, uh, if I leave that guy, leave that job up to you guys. <laughs> All right, so now, now that the cover is off, we can take these little tabs, see these little, little grooves right here, just kind of press down lightly on them. Might need the Phillips for this, might have to tap them too. There we go, coming off a little, little by little. This thing has not been opened since like, I think last year. Come on. Oh, getting it, getting it, getting it, little by little. Yeah, like I said, these things haven't been opened in a while. There we go around there and that just comes off like that and you can see where the locking pins are right there you can actually see where you push it in you go in and then lock right in it's the same thing on this side so anyways, um, you might need your fingers for this because this is a old weed whacker, not like 70s or 80s, but I'm guessing like 2000s, maybe 2017, nothing too late. But So you want to take your thing, make sure it's one is facing this way and the other is facing the opposite way, otherwise it's not going to cut right. So you want in there about like 
right there you know you're not cutting down the whole forest but got a little something and then push this in with your finger and tug on it hard like this and see how that's kind of cockeyed can't have that guy push it in try it again and you can take a bit sometimes but you'd rather have something that cuts right than something that doesn't cut right um, I like to have things kind of, there we go. Perfect. And now we want to take the second string, do the same thing, but instead of having it like this, flip it around like that. See how this barely cuts the top there? That's what we want. Give me some good stuff. Aha, look at that. Leftover string in there. So like I said, you can watch from the top here. You just pull down, the gear opens, and you go from under here, look at that, easy. With the steels, the steel weed whackers, they're good, but you have to recoil them a lot. And this kind of stuff can be tricky to coil with. And you could be sitting there for a long time trying to uncoil something, something simple. But with this, I like this because it's quick, it's easy. It's a nice know-how for the people out there that don't know how to use the uh, um, weed whacker, or at least you know how to change the stuff. So pull once again. You can see the gear in there is getting tight. And there you go. This doesn't have to be too perfect. See how this is kind of like, that's actually quite on the dot actually. Damn. After a while, when that PTO spins from the motor, It'll tighten up on its own because it's going so fast. The gears are just going to keep coming in, coming in, coming in, and it'll just lock right in. And then when you want to take it out, like I said before, you just take this, push it in, you're done. Um, so hopefully, and sometimes this can take us some. This can take a little bit because when, the moment you start the weed whacker, this thing does it a lot. But one of the gears is kind of stripped in it, so it works, but it doesn't work too well. And there are parts on Amazon I could get, but I'm just not focusing on that right now but um sometimes when you put these in they, they're not in all the way so when you go to start it it'll be on there for like two seconds and then it, you can hear it just right out and that's just what happens sometimes but like i said um if you don't remember in my other video i'll try to leave a link in my description although saving links my computer doesn't like doing for some reason so i gotta have that looked at but um, you, um, if you look on the channel, you can see the other Weed Whacker video we did. Um, I didn't restore it because at that time I didn't have a YouTube channel, but, um, this is kind of a Frankenstein Weed Whacker. The gas tank is from a chainsaw, uh, ever and everything else kind of stock. This shroud is from a old steel Weed Whacker. Um. But this came with the house when we got this a couple years ago. And I saw it sitting in the back of the uh, the animal barn, our little shed back there. And I thought, hey, you know, I'm busy. But let's try that another day. And I went to go fix it. And it ran. And now we're sitting here replacing the strings on it. So kind of a restoration without paint <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it you can see it's on there pretty good the strings are on there nice and solid pretty cool ah look at that see that right there gear came out so try to get it in there yeah that's the gear that's stripped on the side it doesn't like see you're supposed to push it in and then the moment you pull out, the gear catches, and you can see it right here, it catches, then when you pull just a little bit, it comes out. Well, on this side, it just stays in. So maybe down the road I'll do a video on replacing the gear on that. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much how you replace the string on this weed whacker. What's shocking is you can go quite a ways with this weed whacker, um, with just one string. 
but I'll get back to you guys in just a sec. We'll fire it up. I'm just going to see if I can't take a metal shaver and shave down that gear so we can get this guy in there because I'd like this thing to cut good. So while I do that, I'll stop right here and I'll fast forward it back to when we're outside. And we are back, guys. Got the cup kit at. I mean, oh, I'm tired today. The weed whacker all readied up here. Um, as you can see, all stringed up there. And we're going to give her a little rip right here. So let's caress our fingers and hope that the strings don't come out. Prime the bulb. Safety switch on. And this one's kind of different because um, you have to prime. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, gotta prime the bulb. It. All right, choke switch. Here we go. Come on. Almost at it. And that was a success. That is the first time the string's actually never shot out. I'm quite happy. This thing is a trooper, it runs great. It did take a bit to fire up, but once again, I'm, I just put a new fuel in it yesterday, uh, VP Racing Fuel. Um, I hear it's supposed to be something that doesn't burn up gas too much, so testing that out, but in that short amount of time, I just kind of cut this little spot up. Uh, yesterday, I did get this patch going right there, cutting it up a little bit. And I think right about here is when it stopped. Um, but, well, I mean, look at that. Nice cut, though, huh? She cuts nice. She handles great. It's awesome. That is how you string on the... Echo Weed Whacker here. Uh, once again, if you guys can find a name for it, I'd be more than happy to uh, dub the <laughs> the name. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I will be coming out with some YouTube shorts this week. Um, get some more viewers coming in. Um, I will show you guys that snapper ride mower down the road uh, when it comes back from the auto body shop because they're just gonna put a slap a new pull string in there. It's bone stock. It's it's solid frame it's it's nice it's a nice push mower so we'll restore that and i always like to uh tell you guys that on memorial day week um well on the day of memorial day um if the weather is good only if the weather's good can i do this uh we will be doing some nice romps through the trails up here even a um tractor pulling contest with my craftsman uh crusty and trapper's old mower and just having a nice time so um hopefully the weather will cooperate and if it doesn't um i'll still make a video but i don't know if it's going to be as good because if it rains the camera's not good it's all going to be watery and don't want that too much so let's cross our fingers hope that memorial day is a good day to take some uh videos um i know it's a long ways but fourth of july will definitely be a romp um i'm hoping to get a waterproof uh cover for the camera here um because it does come with one um, but it doesn't fit it all the way, so I have to buy another one. That was on me, I bought the wrong one, but, um, but yeah, I thought I'd just let you guys know of that. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Geese are going nuts over there. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time.